Unit 2 covers about microbiology. Microbiology in Greek, microbes means small, bios means life, logos means study. It's a branch of biology that deals with scientific study of microorganisms. Microbes include a diverse group of simple forms like protozoans, microscopic algae, fungi, bacteria and viruses. These are omnipresent in vast number and are described as ubiquitous. The work done by Leeuwenhoek and later in 19th century by Louis Pasteur and Robert Koch formed the foundations for this subject. Bacteria are among the most abundant organisms on earth. The branch of biology that deals with study of bacteria is called as bacteriology. These found in soil, water, air and inside living organisms. Concepts covered in this video. Morphology of bacteria, bacteria cell structure, nutrition in bacteria, reproduction in bacteria, importance of bacteria to humans. Morphology of bacteria. It deals with the study of size and shape of bacteria. Size of bacteria. Bacteria are microscopic unicellular free living small microorganisms which are visible under light microscope. Majority of bacteria are in range of 2 to 5 micrometers in length and 0 0.5 to 1 micrometers in breadth. Shape of bacteria. On the basis of shape, bacteria are classified as follows. If it is spherical shape or oval shape, they are called as cocci. If they look elongated rod shape, they are called bacilli. Helical shape are called as spirillum. Comma shape or a curved shape bacteria are called as vibrios. Slender, long and cockscrew screw shaped bacteria are called as spirochetes. Arrangement of bacteria. The arrangement of cells is more complex in cocci than bacillus. If they are arranged as a single, they are called as monococcus. If they are arranged as a pair of cells, they are called as diplococcus. If they are arranged as a group of four cells, called as tetracocci. Or arranged as a bunch of cells, they are called as staphylococcus. If they are arranged as a linear chain, they are called as streptococcus. If cells are arranged in cube of eight, are called as Saccharine. Monobacillus are single elongated cells. Diplobacillus, paid cells of bacilli. Streptobacillus, chain of bacilli appearing like straws. Structure of bacterial study. Recollect the prokaryotic cell structure you have studied already in your first year. It contains pilus. Plasma lamella, cell wall, capsule, cytoplasm, flagella, mesosome, nucleoid, ribosomes, and plasmid. We will study two variant components of bacterial cell now. One, flagella, second one, plasmids. Flagella are long, slender, thin hair like structures help in motility of bacteria. Based on arrangement of flagella, monotrichus, single polar flagella, amphitrichus, single flagella at each end of cell, lophotrichus, two or more flagella at one pole of the cell, peritrichus, several flagella present over the entire cell. Plasmids. Bacteria often contain small circular double structured DNA molecule called plasmids. These are bacterial chromosome or genomorph which is the main genetic material and these are mainly used as agents or vectors in modern genetic engineering techniques. Nutrition in bacteria. Like all living organisms which require energy, 
and nutrients for their growth. Bacteria also requires energy and nutrients for the growth and multiplication process. These like other living organisms, these also need carbon, nitrogen, phosphorus, iron and a large number of other molecules. There are four types of nutrition groups in bacteria. Photoautotrophs. These bacteria capture the energy of sunlight and transform into chemical energy and obtain carbon from atmospheric carbon dioxide. Examples of photoautotrophic bacteria are chromatium, chlorobium. Chemoautotrophs. These bacteria derive energy from the oxidation of inorganic substances and carbon from carbon dioxide. Examples of chemoautotrophs are nitrosomonas nitrobacter. Photoheterotrophs. These bacteria obtain energy from light but carbon is derived from organic sources. Examples Rhodospirillum, Rhodopseudomonas. Chemoheterotrophs. These bacteria obtain energy and carbon from organic compounds such as carbohydrates, lipids and proteins. These chemoautotrophs are further categorized into two major groups. Saprophytes. These are free living microorganisms that feed on organic detritus from dead organisms. Saprophytic bacteria obtain their food from dead and organic decaying matter such as leaves, fruits, vegetables, meat and animals. Examples Bacillus species. Parasites. These bacteria obtain their nutrition from the tissues of hosts on which they grow. Examples of parasitic bacteria Xanthomonas salmonella. Reproduction in bacteria. As we know that true sexual reproduction is absent in bacteria, but the exchange of genetic material takes place in three ways. 1. Conjugation. 2. Transformation. 3. Transduction. Conjugation. First, it was observed in 1946 by Ledenberg and Totten in E. coli. In this process, two live bacteria come together and one is called as a donor. This cell comes directly transfers DNA material to the recipient cell. A special apparatus called conjugation tube or pilus or sex pilus is required for this transfer. And the donor cell it's called as F plus because it contains a plasmid called F plasmid. F plus produces the pilus that makes the contact with the recipient cell which is also known as F minus cell. This F pilus is a halo appendage that is capable of transferring DNA from one cell to the other cell. The F plasmid replicates and the replicated DNA passes through the bridge formed by the pilus to the recipient cell. Thus the process of conjugation is finished. Second one, transformation. This mode of genetical recombination was discovered by Frederick Griffith in 1928 in Staphylococcus pneumonia. Transformation is the uptake of DNA fragments from the surrounding environment and the expression of that genetic information in the recipient cell where the recipient cell acquired a new character that is the that he previously lacked. Next and the last one is transduction. Transfer of genetic material from one bacterium to the another bacterium through a phage called bacteriophage is also known as transduction. It was discovered in 1951 by Ledenberg and Zinder and Salmonella typhenium. Last topic is importance of bacteria to human beings. Bacteria directly or indirectly beneficial to human beings. That's why bacteria are considered as friends and foes of man. Some of the important acts that is done by bacteria to human beings. One is biomining. Bacteria are used in extraction of valuable metals like uranium from the rocks. Next, they can be used as biosensors used to detect biological active toxic pollutants in environment. They are also used in genetic engineering experiments 
and also used in medical diagnostics, food and fermentation operations. Bacteria are not only useful for human beings but also they tend to cause some diseases to plants, animals and human beings. Some of the examples of human disease that is caused by bacteria. Cholera is caused by Vibrio cholera. Typhoid is caused by Salmonella typhi. Tuberculosis is caused by Mycobacterium tuberculosis. Bacteria also causes certain plant diseases like, like blight of rice, Xanthomonas oryza, citrus canker by Xanthomonas. In the next video, we are going to study about virus.